Welcome back to Gadget Class. Today I'm going to be taking apart a phone camera. This is a Galaxy S4 phone camera. This camera actually got pooched when I accidentally uh, dropped a little bit of alcohol down into the actual camera itself. And uh, to try to fix it myself, I went ahead and took it apart. And in the process, uh, I was actually quite amazed at what all goes into these. So I figured I'd do it on camera. I have actually replaced this camera with a uh, brand new camera. You can get these on eBay really cheap. Um, I'll put links to that down in the description below as well as the camera glass and uh, other parts as well. Um, but I figured I'd just do this for shits and giggles to show you guys what goes into the cameras in your phones. They actually uh, a little bit more complicated than I originally thought. I didn't realize they actually had a, a moving parts in there, but they do. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, tear into this puppy. Um, all you're going to need is a, like an X-Acto knife. I'm just using this uh, old flat blade X-Acto knife that I have here. Um, and uh, basically you've got a plastic tape going all the way around the perimeter. And uh, just find a nice place where you can get to it. I of course have already had this off. And just find a place where you can get under the edge. And just start it. Uh, yours is going to be much more difficult than mine. After pardon the bruise on my thumb, I actually fell off a ladder and hit my thumb pretty hard. Just unwrap the tape all the way around. Um, I'm not assuming that you guys are doing this also, but uh, just in case you do. Um, and then you've got two little locking tabs here. One on that side and one on that side. And I'm just going to use my little X-Acto knife. Stick it right under there. There is a slight slot for it. Just uh, stick it under there and s try to slide it up a little bit. Go back and forth until you get it up past uh, the locking tabs. They are on there pretty tight. I'm just warning you, if you ever take one of these apart, they are uh, pretty well locked on there. It's not just the tape that's holding it. These are pretty uh, minutely machined to be just right. So... Before you take this cover off, you got to know that there are six little tiny microscopic ceramic ball bearings in there that are going to go flying. I actually lost two of them. Almost lost all of them because I didn't know they were in there. But you're going to pull this case off to expose the innards there. And these uh, ceramic ball bearings, there's a row of them right there and a row of them right there. There should be, at least there was, three on each side in this particular phone model. But if we just grab this... And it, it's uh, pretty well machined in there. Basically this whole thing slides up and down. And I did have some, like, residue. I'm guessing it was from when I dropped the alcohol down in there. Um, I cleaned it out pretty good, put it all back together, and it still did not work. So I'm guessing I shorted something out. But if you were to try to re... Try to take one of these apart and clean it. Uh, just make sure you're really careful. Uh, don't lose uh, the little ceramic balls. They might be plastic, but I'm assuming they're ceramic. But since this is the last time I'm ever going to mess with this camera, I'm just going to... I'm not really worried about saving parts at this point. There goes all the ceramic balls. Looks nice and big right there, but uh, I lost one of those in the carpet. And uh, actually, I lost more than one in the carpet. But actually finding that, they are tiny. Those are tiny, tiny, tiny. 
I don't know if you can even see them right there. Tiny little ball bearings. Then inside, you've got your uh, little uh, actual pickup there. But what surprised me is that this the lens actually moves up and down. You got a permanent magnet there, and you've got a little magnetic coil there. So this little this lens actually goes up and down to focus the camera. So when your camera is focusing in and out, you know, like every time it focuses, this little thing is moving up and down with that coil to position it in relationship to the CMOS sensor in there. Uh, the entire back end is a CMOS sensor. Um, I guess we could measure that for you. While we're at it. We're just messing around in this video, really. So roughly 0 0.27, 0 0.28 inches, 7 millimeters. Diagonal. So that's pretty much it. You know, we've got the, the little tiny lens that moves up and down using the coil and the magnet there. Uh, whenever the coil is induced with power, um, little micro movements have, happen in the lens. But it all depends on these little tiny ball bearings to be freely moving. To move this up and down. And that's it. You got a track on each side. Six total. So, there it is. A phone camera. That's a rear camera from a Galaxy S4 Active. Pretty similar camera goes into most phones. Um, they're all pretty much designed the exact same way. Uh, they just have different size CMOS sensors and different lens configurations. So be sure to subscribe to the channel for